dollar, dollar, dollar. Dirt and money, no soul. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't neglect me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. Yo, what's good, original crew? It's your boy DJ Nuki, your girl. Sierra Nicole. Back on the channel with more family guy for you. Mm -mm. This one is considered to be the most darkest humor in Family Guy. You think we can get that dark? Pretty sure. <sighs> Am I that dark? <laughs> um, no, you can no, get darker than this. Yeah, you can get darker than this. <laughs> Yeah, that's been shown and seen. So, hey, but uh, with that being said, I know y'all love and enjoy the family, guys. So we got more for y'all today. So with that being said, make sure you check out the links in the description box down below. You already know where to go, man. You want the first part? You gotta do it. Check out down below. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, we always ask you to lock it in with a thumbs up. But you ready, girl? I'm ready. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's check it out. Let's see what it's about, y'all. Yeah, she's working the champagne room. Follow me. Quagmire, you uh, you ever been to Atlantic City before? Well, once, about 20 years ago. Why? All right! All right! All right! All right! Eh, enough time <laughs> passes, you'll forget all about it. <laughs> Just like Inspector Gadget forgot about that one-night stand. Suzanne, we have to talk. Okay. Someone has made contact with me, someone from my past, and, well, long story short, go, go, Guatemalan son. Oh, just thinking about it makes me all giddy. Like a group of women ordering dessert. And Did you ever used to watch Inspector Gadget? Go, mm, go, Gadget, go. Not really. Bro, you never wa I watched Whoa! it, but it wasn't something that I was I just watched like... the movie and everything. Now I watched the movie, but I... Go, I go, Gadget, go. Yeah. I watched it, but it wasn't one of those shows where I was like, I have to, like, tune in. Nah, I love Inspector Gadget. <laughs> And we have a chocolate chocolate cake that's infused with chocolate, served with chocolate ice cream and a molten chocolate topping. We'll have one of those with four spoons. More like four of those with one spoon for me. <laughs> what? Griffin, we just had an opening. Congratulations, you are now a member. Oh my God, really? And to think yesterday I was just a guy <coughs> that had eaten catnip. <laughs> You know, I was so desperate there for a while, I even tried a Jewish club. Uh, you don't want to get involved with them religious groups. They believe in all kinds of weird stuff. If I believe in Jesus hard enough, I will not die. If I believe in Snake Jesus hard enough, he will die. If I believe in Tree Jesus hard enough, both of them will die. Oh! Yay! Thank you, Tree Jesus! Besides, if I listened to you guys, I never would have got that job as a seat filler for fetuses. Okay, let's take a look at your baby, shall we? Hi, he'll oh. be right back. He's in the bathroom. Oh. Try anything new today? Talk to anyone interesting? No, not really. Oh, that beef bowl is wrecking me. My stomach feels like that time I had explosive diarrhea. Mm -mm. Roundhouse. Look, Chris, I'm sorry, but oh. money's tight right now. Yeah, I even had to take a second job as a door-to-door -door vacuum salesman. This thing can pick up anything. Here's a little demonstration. I'll pour some wine, rub in... What did... What did Peter do anyway? He said his second job. Okay, we got the second... What was his first job? Now, we all know I what know what... Stan does. Okay, yes, and, and I know what... We all know the Simpsons, uh, Homer... He do them at the plant, you know. He's... And then... I don't know what him or his wife do. Right? That's crazy. He's but he's a family vacuum guy. salesman. This thing can pick up anything. Here's a little demonstration. I'll pour some wine, rub in some feces, and to top it off, some mustard mixed with feces. Tough stain, oh. right? Oh, crap, I forgot the vacuum. Wow, Brian, you've had Damn. quite a string of female guests spend the night lately. Yeah, whatever you're doing, it's working. You should see the way I have to pick up chicks. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I guess you just never know what kind of rage some people have bottled up. Well, we all got anger, Chris. The important thing is finding a healthy way to channel it. For me, as you know, it's the family bath. 
Kira, how long do we have to sit here? Until I'm not angry anymore, you naked bunch of bitches! Ooh. Oh, thank God. I really dodged a bullet there. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Ah, everybody makes mistakes. Even doctors. Oh, shit. You forgot to I say... I forgot to say clear. Maybe we should just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our families. Yeah, I tried that. I just spent most of the time testing Chris to see if he's autistic. <laughs> Not overly affectionate. Oh, well, you should hear my prank phone Shell. calls. Hey, is your refrigerator running? Yes, it is. Are your doors unlocked? You, mm. What? Why? Oh, oh. I don't know. They all kind of look the same. <laughs> what do you mean they uh, all look the, the same? The one in the middle. You said the one in the middle. Mm -hmm. Was it the one in the middle? Uh -huh. I, cause I thought Go the, back a little bit. I thought the door handles was on the other Go side. Go back to the other side. Let me see. Is your refrigerator running? Yes, it is. Are your doors unlocked? You, what? Why? Are you right? Uh-huh, I don't know. That was him. Snitch. <laughs> I don't know. They all kind of look the same. Snitch. What do you mean they all look the same? I'm sorry, we're all booked up because the slut convention's in town. Slut convention? Yeah, they were promised a single millionaire, but it's really just a bunch of horny squirrels in a rich guy suit. So, you made your money in business? Where's your room, handsome? <laughs> of course, it's what he would have wanted. Listen, we all gotta move on, like the Secret Service did on November 23rd, 1963. All right, guys, I know that yesterday was a rough one for us, but it's with great pride that I'm going to turn this zero into a one. <laughs> All right! Nichols, you should go home and change. Hey, can you buy us some beer? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it'd be right. Ugh, I knew you weren't cool. Well, no, 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 hold on a minute. <laughs> Gee, this is pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I guess, but what we could really use is some weed. I think oh. that might be over the line. See, I told you this guy wasn't cool. Oh, no, no, hold on a minute. Mr. Griffin, did you or did you not distribute alcohol and marijuana to minors? No, Your Honor, I did not. Told you this defendant wasn't cool. Well, now, 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 hold on a minute. Oh! I knew I should have brought Peter instead of you. Oh, come on, you would have done much worse with him. He's got a terrible tell. Any cards, Peter? No, I'm good. And yeah, even school's getting more dangerous. The bullies have been so busy, they're outsourcing their bullying to India. Okay, do you see the back of your underwear in the mirror? Yes. Okay, I want you to pull it up as high as you can. It's a phone sex operation. I can't do this. It pays two grand a week, sweetie. Oh, my God. With that type of money, I could buy pots and pans at William Sonoma. Oh. This is a very nice set. You must be a phone whore. You bet your sweet ass I am. <laughs> uh, maybe not, Brian. I think I just got an idea. Ah, I got glass in my face. Oh, crap, now I forgot what it was. I got it. Oh. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh, wow, this is awesome. You know Jeff Garland has one of these in his house. Ah, uh, I love this chair. Dog in a Jets jersey, get in here. God, I have the best basement. <laughs> Where is this girl? Where is she? We keep girls upstairs. I hope you burn in hell, along with the guy who came up with stuffing a turkey. Hey, who wants to try some of my butthole bread? Come on, can't you give that giraffe at home another chance? You know, for every one they sell, they save a giraffe in the wild. Sorry, giraffe. They only bought one. Ah, they returned it. The History Channel presents Where in World War II is Waldo? Hey! Wow, I don't believe it. Hey, congratulations, buddy. You know, you're a lucky guy. The only thing I ever won was an extra day of summer. Okay, Peter, one more day. Yay! Uh. I saw what I looked like in a car window, and now <laughs> I don't want to go. What? I'm doing the best I can. I'm not Nathaniel Hawthorne. <laughs> Nathaniel, what are you doing? Just ruining ninth grade for everyone. Oh, oh look at us, Brian. Frontier people. I feel like those miners who first struck gold in San Francisco. 
Oh my god, we did it! We struck gold! This is amazing! We're gonna be rich! Rich and gay? Come here. Mm. Peter, that might be the worst idea anyone has ever had. Well, you're wrong there. The worst idea anyone ever had was silver bullets. Barbara Leibowitz's husband just bought her a diamond brooch. You know how he afforded that? He uses regular bullets. He uses regular bullets! <laughs> it's enormous. Lois, this is probably a terrible time to remember this, but I think I might have left the weed whacker on. We now return to... What would you do? You come back home just... Child. What I'll do to you? Nah, if you me, did that? I ain't that dumb. Well, who gonna do it? It's on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, out of the two of us. You'll be the one. And you'll be the one. No. no I'm very you. no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop you it. just left the heat on the other day. I, I did that on purpose. Off. No, you did. Yes, I did. I wanted to warm the bathroom. I did it on purpose. I did. I pulled the door open. I did it on purpose. In the butt. The only game show where if you get the answer wrong, you get stabbed in the butt. All right, Bradley, here's your question. What is the atomic weight of nitrogen? Uh, get him, guys! Stab him in the butt! No! I don't know, Joe. Sometimes the security's pretty lax. Oh. I mean, the last plane I was on got gay jacked. This plane's going to Miami! Uh. <laughs> oh, you should have been there, Lois. I told Angela what she could do with that job, just like I always fantasized. Angela, I just want to thank you for several extremely pleasurable years working for this corporation. Uh, certain unexpected developments have created a situation where I am no longer in need of employment. Uh, I would be remiss, however, if I did not extend my gratitude to you for your unwavering fairness and belief in me, and there is a giant poo on your desk. I may have gambled away our plane tickets. You what? How do you even do that? It's Vegas, Brian. You can gamble anything. I'd like to bet my daughter's virginity on 23. Ooh. I'm sorry, it's 31. Ow! How's it going here? Not great. I know what you mean. We just took a pounding at the craps table. It's weird. He doesn't even talk. Well, he was living among wild animals for two months. And you know how impressionable your dad can be. Hmm. We now return to Canadian Horror Story. Hey, hon. We're out of Molson. Oh, not to worry. We've got some Labats in the garage. And could you get one for the ghost? Boo, eh? And then weird? somebody replaced <laughs> Meg's sleeping pills with Alka-Seltzer. People are going to miss me when I'm... Oh, this is unbelievable! I haven't had this much fun since I hosted the Oscars. Good evening. I just want to say that I have the utmost respect for women everywhere. And what? also the Jews. Good night. Yeah, look at all this luxury. It's like being in a gay guy's dream. Enjoying the view? It's what? glorious, Edwin. Would you like it's another glorious. salad bowl of chocolate-covered oysters? Is that gay enough? And then some. <laughs> this has been the gayest vacation I've ever oh, had. Oh, oh. I love smelling me on your breath. Oh, oh. We now <laughs> return. Oh, not love. Flag smelling. on the plate. Flag on the. I love smelling you on your breath. <clears throat> oh Lord Jesus. I see you. I see you. To bottom chef. Daniel L. Bottom please chef. pack your fudge and go. Fine. Well, there goes my music career. I wonder <laughs> if I can get my old job back, painting kids' faces at birthday parties. There you go, Timmy. Sir, you're gonna have to leave. You're just drawing penises with a Sharpie on children's faces. I don't know how to draw a cat. I am gonna make this family oh. proud. And not just you guys, but that old painting of my ancestor in the attic. I did it! I'm gonna be on TV! Did you kill the others? I shan't! You must. I'm gonna go talk to the statue in the basement. Did you kill the painting? This place is a nut house. No, no, they, they won't let you down easy like I did. New York can be pretty harsh, especially to outsiders. Hello, New York! Uh oh! Well, I've taken on bigger challenges before. <laughs> I had to explain to America why Heidi Klum broke up with Seal. Face. Oh, you get it, Seal. Mm -hmm. You don't get it. <laughs> You ain't cast over. You ain't cast over. Why you always tell me when I kiss? Because I know you. You don't know me. I do. I know I mean, you better you know than me. you know you. I, I hate Because I see it. that. Because I see, I see what you don't see. So I know what you don't know. What? 
You hear what I hear. What? And you see what I see. Okay. And you want to be what I be. No. <laughs> but you can't be me. I don't want to. Man, make sure y'all spam us up in the comment section down below. Let us know y'all thoughts Please and opinions, do. man. This one was very, very, very hilarious, man. But as always, y'all know how it go. I do go with the man, DJ McKid. This is New York. We are y'all.